Um, it's kind of a unique hobby. There aren't very many people that have it. I collect vintage spray paint cans and paint memorabilia in general. Um, spray paint wasn't in use till about 1949. Mm -hmm. So uh, before that, everything you would get came in cans. And a gentleman and his wife who own a company that's, well, they're, they've passed now, but that's still in business, she decided, what if we pressurize these cans, or you know, it would be easier to get paint out of them. Before that, aerosols were primarily used as um, insect repellent for, it started in World War II, but she had a bright idea to pressurize the paint that her husband was making. He wanted a way to apply it faster so he could show people how it worked rather than brushing it on. So they came up with that, and the Seymour Company is still in business to this day in uh, Wheeling, Illinois. I collect ones that are local. Um, some of them are from, like, you recognize Holiday as Holiday gas stations. Um, Hardware Hank had their own line, or still does. Coast to Coast is a company that's no longer in business, but they had a line. Um, and then I collect the, you know, more famous brands like Rust-Oleum. I have hundreds of Rust-Oleum cans. Do you do any uh, painting or... I do. I, um, I don't do graffiti. Um, I've tried my hand on it. I'm not good at it. Mm -hmm. But I, I work as an abstract artist. Mm -hmm. So some of the uh, paints that I was using, I would like flick spray paint, mm -hmm. you know, at canvases and stuff like that. And um, someone said, I got some old spray paint, you know, you can, you can have. And so they just gave it to me and I started using it. And then I became interested in like, okay, why would you still have this around? And where did it come from? And oh, it's from Minneapolis, Minnesota. That's really cool. And Started doing more and more research, find out what the history of it was. Started using it more and more, and now it's pretty much exclusively what I use in my art. Carolyn. How did you get hooked up with this event today? Um, I come to the library all the time, and I always grab all the little pamphlets and things like that to see what's going on. I bring my daughter to events. My boyfriend and I come to events. Um, there's different meetings and stuff, community meetings and stuff that are held here that we come to. So we're at this library probably two or three days a week. So I've known about it for a while and I decided I was going to bring my stuff down because I don't get to show it off too often. So. Cool. Well, that's awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you.